everyone. It's time for another math lesson. Last week we were talking all about the metric system, which the metric system was really awesome because we could measure length, capacity, and weight all using the same strategy. As long as you understood powers of 10, you could convert any kind of the metric system. Now the issue with the metric system is that it's not something that we use a lot in the United States. In the United States, most of what we use is what we call the customary system. So this week we're moving into the customary system, which I think you're going to be a lot more familiar with. But it's a little bit trickier because you can't just use powers of 10. Every single kind of the customary system measurements have a different conversion that you have to use. So make sure you're paying very close attention this week so that I can get you all of the information that you need. Before I give you any more specific details on the customary system, I want to give you a little rhyme to help you solve your work this week. I want you to think big to small, multiply them all, small to big, divide, you dig? So what that means is if you're going from a larger form of measurement to a smaller form of measurement, you're always going to multiply. But if you're going from a smaller form of measurement to a bigger form of measurement, you're going to divide. Now what you divide or multiply is going to be different for each kind of measurement. So that's why you have to pay very, very close attention to every single lesson this week to make sure that you've got all the correct conversions. Today's lesson is specifically going to be just about customary length. With customary length, there are four different kinds of measurements that you have to know. You have to know the inch, the foot, the yard, and the mile. The inch is the smallest form of measurement, and the mile is the biggest. Now, I think that you're familiar with all four of these, but let's talk a little bit more about how to convert from one measurement to the other. Now, this is the inch. This little measurement right here, that is one inch. The next one that we mentioned was the foot. This entire measuring tool is what we call one foot. And our next size is a yard. This is one yard. And then a mile is super, super, super long. So let me talk to you a little bit more about the specifics of that. If you have one foot, inside that one foot you have 12 inches. So every single foot you can also say is 12 inches inches. The yard, inside of each yard you have three feet. So what that means is I can fit three of these rulers on my yardstick. So I've got one, two, three. So each yard equals three feet. And then when we get to our mile, our mile is going to be Ready for this? 5,280 feet. So I could take 5,280 of these rulers and line them up side by side and I would get one mile. That's a really long distance, isn't it? Now let's talk a little bit more about how to convert from one measurement to the other. When you're converting in the metric system, the first thing that you have to know is how long each measurement is. So let's talk about those customary length measurements one more time. One foot equals 12 inches, one yard equals three feet, and one mile equals 5,280 feet. You must know this in order to convert in the customary length system. The next thing that you need to know is if you're going to multiply or if you're going to divide. And remember, I shared a rhyme with you to help you with that. The rhyme was big to small, multiply them all, small to big, divide, you dig? So what that means is if I'm going from a big unit such as a mile to a smaller unit such as feet, I would multiply my measurements. But if I'm going from a smaller unit such as an inch, to a bigger unit, such as a yard, I would divide. Now let's see what that means with a couple examples. Our first example is how many inches are in two feet? So first I have to ask myself, 
what do I know about my measurements? In the question, it says inches and feet, so I'm going to explore what I already know about those measurements. First, I know that I have two feet because I'm trying to find out how many inches are in two feet. The next thing I know is that each foot equals 12 inches. This information is going to really help me as I'm making my conversions. The next thing is I have to figure out if I'm multiplying or dividing. And since I'm going from a bigger unit, the foot, to a smaller unit, the inch, I know that I have to multiply because big to small, we multiply them all. And when I multiply those measurements that I have, I do 12 times two, and I figure out that two feet equals 24 inches. Let's do another example. This one, we want to find out how many yards are in 12 feet. So again, the first thing I ask is, what do I know about these measurements? I know that I have 12 feet, and I also know that one yard equals three feet. So, am I going to be multiplying or dividing? If I'm moving from feet to yards, I'm moving from a smaller unit to a bigger unit. So, small to big, divide, you dig? So to solve this problem, I have to divide 12 by three, and I find that 12 feet equals four yards. Sometimes when you convert, you're going to have to do a two-step conversion, which means that with the conversion chart that you were given, you can't exactly get there with one step. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. This example, we want to find out how many yards are in two miles. So let's first figure out what do we know about these measurements. First, I know that I have two miles. Next. I know that one mile equals 5,280 feet. Now the question isn't asking how many feet are in two miles, it's asking how many yards. So then, that means I also have to find out that one yard equals three feet. Now with this, I'm going to have to do a two-step conversion. I'm going to first figure out miles to feet, and then I can figure out feet to yards. So in our first step, we're going to do big to small, multiply them all. I'm going to multiply two miles times 5,280 feet, and when I calculate that, I find that there are 10,560 feet in two miles. So I've converted my miles to feet, now we can convert feet to yards. When I convert feet to yards, I'm doing small to big, which means that I have to divide. So I'm going to divide my 10,560 feet by three feet in each yard to figure out that 3,520 yards are in two miles. That's a lot of yards. When you're doing your conversions today, use this checklist to success to help you. Your first step, you need to ask, what do I know about my measurements? This is where your conversion chart will help you figure out what you need to do. The second question, do I need to multiply or divide? This is where you can use that rhyme. Big to small, multiply them all. Small to big, divide, you dig? And then the last thing you have to do is solve and check your work. If you follow these steps, you will find success. As you can see, converting in the customary length system is not that tricky, but it just takes a little bit of thought. You have to think, what are my two different units that I'm using? And you have to think if you are going from big to small or small to big. If you can think about these things, doing these conversions is going to be very easy. Just make sure that you are taking your time and checking your work every time. Good luck!